Hello and welcome to a series of tutorials where I teach you how to make a student management system. Now this is going to be a multi-school student management system. So this means that you're going to have, you can have several schools in one system. So 10, 20, 100 schools, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so you'll be able to manage all the schools and all the students there. So the way things are going to work is that we will have what are called super admins. These ones will be the ones that can move from one school to another and manage each school separately. So a super admin is the one that will create an admin for each school. Okay, so the first admin, because you need at least one admin for a school, in order for it to start functioning and once you have an admin for that school that admin can add lecturers and uh, students will be added by the receptionists there so the admin will add lecturers and will add reception which could be which you could call registrar or something like that those that uh, take in the data for the students and then after that you can, uh, the lecturers will, oh, after these students are added by the reception, a lecturer will add these students to a particular class. Okay, so it's up to you whether you want the admin to create these classes or the lecturers can create their own classes, but maybe we'll give that power to the lecturers. So lecturers will create a class and then they will add students to that class they will give assignments to those students and then the students will have the option to submit once an assignment is given they can submit uh, either in text uh, pdf or image formats and then we'll have um, the lecturer will be able to download the assignment and then the lecturer will give marks for each assignment according uh, to what they got for each subject, of course. And then finally, we'll get a display of the student marks for that particular semester. Okay, so hopefully this will give you an idea uh, of how these things work. So the idea is not to create the perfect school system, of course, because uh, personally, I've never been to college, so I don't really understand the college system at all. All I know is PHP and MySQL. So I'm going to help you to know those things. Then you can decide what columns, what fields that you want to add to this project to make it more viable and make it more of what you are looking for. Okay, so uh, in order to begin, we need a couple of things. So the first thing we'll need is a local server because we want to run this thing on a local server before we take it online because hopefully this will eventually run on the school server or something like that. But for now, we need a local server. So you must download ZAMP or if you have a server already installed on a computer, that will be fine. Just make sure you start Apache and MySQL as those two will be needed. Apache is the server, MySQL is the database. Okay, so good. If you have those two available, that's great. Now you can open a text editor of your choice. Even Notepad will be good. I'm using Sublime Text as usual, but you are free to use VS Code. It doesn't really matter. As long as it's a good text editor for you, that'll be great. Once you have those two things, we'll need a couple more things. Now, I don't want us to spend so much time on um, designing the interface. The interface is really just to give us results of what we want to do. The main important part here is going to be the PHP. So we're going to run this PHP in object-oriented mode because uh, OOP is just 10 levels better than procedural programming. So we're going to use object-oriented programming. So don't worry if you don't know any OOP. There's a series on my channel that you can go to and uh, I'll link it in the description. You can watch those videos before you come here if you're uncomfortable with OOP. 
but actually it's quite simple so as long as you know the basics of php it should be good enough but you can take that refresher course if you want to it will be a big help if you understand those concepts already so once we have that we want to go to the internet and we're going to be using bootstrap so get bootstrap here go to getbootstrap.com and download the bootstrap there's a download button right here so once you download they're going to give you a uh, folder a zip file that we are going to use so when you just click this button here it's going to download a zip file for bootstrap so that way we can spend more time on the php and not css so but keep in mind that you don't need bootstrap for this project at all you can just use normal css and it's going to work fine we just want to speed up the process here and then go to fontawesome.com and we're going to get some font awesome as well so font awesome is for icons yeah so just uh download the free version here where is the free version did i miss something here uh, support start i think we have to click on start here okay so start where is the download so download here so don't don't download the desktop version download the uh font awesome for the web so download that and once you're done with that you have a zip folder which we can use and then here we can click on icons to see what icons they have because these are the icons we're going to be using and then click on free because we want to check out the free icons here for now but if you have money you could just upgrade to the pro version and get better icons okay so once we have that uh, let's go to our folder here so i have created a folder in htdocs zamp so this is drive c zamp htdocs now if you are using a different kind of server this would be a different folder but just go to your server folder and then create a folder called school in there and then this is what i have put in here i have the bootstrap download and also i have the font awesome download here so we're going to need two of these to begin with okay so once we have those two we are pretty much ready to begin okay so i will now see you in the next video where we extract all these files and begin to code our index page i'll see you then